Hey guys, today we will be doing a London Killzone recap. I, like every day, shared all my analysis on our Discord server, so if you want to join that, make sure to click that link in the description box below. And this is what it looks like once you have access to the VIP Discord area. This morning I shared my chart analysis, my higher time frame analysis, and I let everyone know that I'm sitting on my hands until the London Open. I was low-key already looking for a potential break of this trend line, a retest and a continuation lower into Asia sell side, or maybe just this sell side, because once again, if we head over to my higher time frame analysis, we see that this sell side right here is below the 50% of yesterday's range and also below the 50% of the range of the current day before the London Open. And I will talk about that more on the trading view chart. And then eventually, we got a one minute market structure shift where I entered short. I made sure I let everyone know. Ryan actually caught the trade as well. We secured partials right here at this sell side liquidity and the last one at the New York midnight level. Both of them hit very quickly, but we're gonna talk more about them on the charts. And then we actually found a five minute bearish 2022 model. And we also entered on that one. I secured after six points right here, we got filled. My take profit target was right around this level between the optimum trade entry, this red line, and this low, which was below the 50%. If we measure from the London session high to the Asian session low, high of the day, low of the day. And we retrace into a discount to continue up higher. Played out very well too. And yeah, let's get right into trading view now. So now we are back on the ES1 five minute time frame. The time is 2.45. We have a couple more minutes left before we uh, see the London open right here. Right now we're holding support on this bullish order block. We did hold support previously on that bullish order block, basically those down closing candles. And before that we kept holding support on this bullish order block. So all the down closing candles in this uptrend so far kept holding support. Here we also saw a tiny little bullish value gap, which has been filled. And from here we move a little bit up higher. If we zoom out, we can see that we are at the high of the new week opening gap or the opening price of the current week, uh, calendar week 43. And looking at yesterday's range, we are above the 50% right now. So let's see, we are going to click through it candle by candle. At this time, I was mentioning this trend line liquidity on the Discord server for all the VIP members. So we keep an eye on that. And like we said, we bounced off this order block paired with the bullish share value gap, leaving behind a volume imbalance. And at this time it's 2.55, 3 a.m. That's the London Open, so we marked this up. And all we did pretty much since the New York midnight, so right here from, let's say 11 p.m., we retraced to the consequent encouragement of the new week opening gap. And right after midnight, we we started this rally. So first hour and the second hour, we can already imagine them as a bullish up closing candle. And we continue higher. We're now at the high of the current day. And if you wanna trade a reversal, you wanna sell high and buy back lower. And being at the high of the current daily candle is always a good spot to look for reversals. I wouldn't really look for longs up here because yeah, we're at the high. Of course, we can always go higher, but you don't want to buy high and sell even higher. That doesn't most of the time work. The probability is lower. Right, so London opened up and right over here, we continued to go even higher. Let's see. And then we got this bearish engulfing candle. At this point in time, I dropped down to the one minute time frame because I was kind of anticipating that we're not gonna get our fill on the five minute time frame. because on the five minute, we have all these equal lows and I don't know, during London, we do not always get these five minute shorts at the high of the actual day. So I dropped it down to the one and I pointed out this bearish value gap right here to all the Discord members. I think Ryan actually caught it bearish share value gap. So right here, London open, we made a higher high. We have all these equal lows resting below, lining up with this trend line liquidity. 
So I placed my first limit order right here inside this bearish value gap with my stop loss at the high of the current day, targeting the sell side liquidity as my partial and the no, the sell side liquidity as a partial, also because it lines up with a quick ends model for five points and my second take profit target was the New York midnight level. All right, I outlined that. We leave another equal low. And right up here, I got filled with the first contract. We actually closed above it, but I didn't exit here. I was just trusting the potential 2022 setup. Why is it a market structure shift? Because we broke the short term low. It's a fractal one. We are on a one minute time frame. Keep that in mind. But right here, if we look at structure, we made a low, a high, a higher low. And then right here, we made a higher high, relatively speaking to this high. We pulled back. So if we would go to a 15 second time frame now, it would become more obvious. And then we made a new higher high. And then we displaced below it. We closed below the short term low. And because we're at the high of the day, I had a high conviction that we are going to continue lower. <coughs> and then right here, we already went back below the bullish share value gap. Bearish share value gap, sorry. And we're now inside of this bullish share value gap. That very next candle left behind a doji. And now things really start to get a little bit messy, but we will keep control. So we filled in this entire bullish fair value gap. We closed back below our initial bearish fair value gap, leaving behind a new bearish inefficiency. And I was looking for a place to add some size. So I added another contract right here on this bearish fair value gap. Once I saw that very likely that second high has been made. We continue lower from there, closing below this bullish fair value gap, turning it into a inversion fair value gap. We close back inside of it and up in here, I added my second contract in this bearish fair value gap. And we open up with a bearish volume imbalance, continuing lower, already having cleared the slow. And from there on, we moved rather quickly. So after closing back below it, we retested the inversion fair value gap here on the one minute time frame. Until, yeah, then we swept all these equal lows. One, two, three, four, five. So everything was looking good. And we very quickly, we came back into that bearish fair value gap we have left behind here one more time. Took a little while of consolidation. We hit it three times, that bearish fair value gap, now leaving again behind equal lows we run them and we're now at our trend line from the entire new york midnight trend like i shown that at the beginning on the discord server initially we keep on holding support but eventually we are making that break let me get rid of all these auto block lines they might confuse some of the viewers so we broke now we rapidly continue lower towards the VWAP. At the VWAP, we open up with a bearish volume imbalance and we hit all our targets because if I pop it back up to a five minute time frame now, we did not see that pullback yet into the our trend line to continue lower. That's why I dropped down to a one minute time frame. On a five minute time frame, yes, we have a market structure shift now down here. That's the one that I would identify as a market structure shift on the five minute time frame. Market structure shift bearish. And what do we have at that same level? A bearish inefficiency. So on that initial short, all our targets have been hit, but still we are left behind with this sell side liquidity. And now we also come towards the main point of this video if we measure from the low of the day the asian sell side liquidity we open up right here asia sell side london buy side and we measure our pd array 
we can see that this is our first sell side liquidity. Really, we could also look at the sell side liquidity as our first sell side below the 50%, but really this one stands out, this swing low. We also have a bunch of fair value gaps here to the left. And if we use the ICT FIP retracement, you can see that right here on that sell side liquidity, we have the 61.8 FIP retracement level, then the optimum trade entry and the 80% retracement. So overall, very interesting. I pointed that out on Discord while it was happening. That's our sell side liquidity. Let's make that our sell side liquidity main, our main target. And what did I show you at the beginning? Even before London opened up, I want to see this trend line broken. We close below it, we pull back and continue lower. This was the initial plan before London opened up and it played out perfectly. So right here, I've already secured this entire one minute time frame short. Now looking forward to take a five minute short. I had my stop loss just above this high five points, targeting at least the sell side. So could be another quick scalp for five points. My take profit target was set at the optimum trade entry. So let's see what happened here now on the five minute time frame. We kept holding that midnight level and now we've started playing around the VWAP. We already filled in this entire inefficiency and note how precise ES can be here to the tick. There is no, nothing left behind. This is the high of the fair value, fair value gap and we hit 4256.25 perfectly. And what else do we have lining up with that level? Right, the opening price of the current week, right here. Paired with a bearish fair value gap, paired with a, if we have a 2022 model, we always have a breaker block. We touch the breaker block. You really could have also placed your entry up here. I always go for the low hanging fruit entries to make sure I also get filled. Breaker block, bearish fair value gap. That was our entry. We got filled. And from here on, we took the buy side liquidity one last time. And I was really curious why we actually did that. And then I looked at the 15 minute time frame. And on the 15 minute time frame, look what we have left behind right here. This is our five minute breaker block. Let's get rid of that. We have left behind a five minute bearish fair value gap, a 15 minute bearish fair value gap above this high. So if we drop it down to the five, now it makes sense why we swept this little short term high one last time, tapping that 15 minute bearish because on the 15, we also had a market structure shift. But the market structure shift on the 15, for me personally, would have been this one right here. We form a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, and a higher high. Everything here is too messy, too early. You can't really confirm it, but on a 15, this is the most recent higher low that stands out. We displace below it, leave behind a inefficiency. And from here on, we continued lower and left behind equal lows. Our sell side target is down here and the optimum trade entry down here. At this point in time, because we have swept the sell side liquidity, I moved my stop loss to break even. And my initial entry was right at the low of this bearish fair value gap. My stop loss, so basically is now at break even. My target was the optimum trade entry. And right here we can see, I also let everyone know on Discord when I move my stop loss to break even, I mentioned it once we break below 4249.5. Let me open it up quickly. Mm. Trade ideas, missed by being stopped. Uh, here, moving stop loss to break even once we clear 4249.5, move stop loss to break even. So no one is missing out on these signals or making any mistakes. And right here, missed my stop loss or my break even point by two ticks and then luckily we continued lower we hit the optimum trade entry i already secured after six points and this was really the the crucial point because now we are inside these fair value gaps we also have them on the 15 minute time frame we swept that sell side liquidity and from here on it's always safe to secure some partials because I was only in with one contract on my take profit trader uh, account right now. Um, I did not enter with two contracts here because I already caught that one minute reverse up here with two. 
And I only entered on this 5 minute, 15 minute bearish fair value gap 2022 setup with one my, uh, mini contract. And if I would have been in with two, my second take profit would have been Asia sell side liquidity. But always make sure to take partials here because right now, in case we are bullish and we retrace to an optimum trade entry, having swept sell side liquidity below the 50%, so we seek sell side in a discount to do what? Either to continue lower and take out Asia sell side or to reverse from here from the optimum trade entry to take out buy side. It's always one of the two <clears throat> and you have to yeah, make sure you take partials because not every time we hit our full target. Make sure to get paid because very shortly afterwards we retrace even a little bit lower but then we basically already displace back to the upside if we look at the one minute time frame. What do we have right here now? At this time, I already stopped trading because I had two winning trades. A bullish market structure shift. We form a low, a lower low, and a lower low. This is our most recent lower high. We just place through that. And eventually clear the London buy side liquidity. Let's see where we are at right now. Go to the five minute time frame. We also shifted structure right here and then we left behind this bullish share value gap. Right here, bullish share value gap. After making a lower low, lower high, lower low. We close above it right here on this candle. We retrace into our bullish share value gap paired with the breaker block. You could also argue that this has been our first lower low our lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So theoretically, you could also draw the market structure shift level right here. But we never came back down into the um, bullish value gap here on the 4.40 a.m. candle. I didn't see that. I was still watching it, doing some coding work in the meantime. Shifted structure, bullish value gap. And what do we do from here? We expand that to clear the London buy side for a nice little five point scalp. Ran up a total of eight points. And now up here, after having cleared this buy side liquidity, what did we do? We formed a high, a higher low and a higher high. Right here, this is a bearish market structure shift. And we leave behind a textbook 2022 model. This is our bearish share value gap. We place our stop loss at the high and once again we target internal sell side liquidity. Take partials here, here and maybe full take profit target at the Asian session low. If we do not want to continue higher because we also have buy side liquidity residing up here. And above all these highs until we reach the previous day's high. But so far, it has been a very, very exciting London kill zone. And I hope you like these type of videos where I recap the entire kill zones with my style of analysis. If you want to see me do that live, I stream live every day during the New York kill zone for free on YouTube with advertising and a one minute delay. And without advertising and without any delay on our Discord uh, VIP section right here every day and i also share trade ideas and all that during london and when i'm not streaming all right guys thanks very much for watching this video if you do want to sign up to our vip membership the link for that is in the description box below and i will see you in today's live stream take care